Hey guys, in previous video we created resource group and in this video we are going to see how we can create availability set using PowerShell. So before creating that, let me go to the portal and if I switch to the portal, Azure portal, this is how you can actually create availability set or AV set from the portal which required your resource group name region, fall domain, update domain counts and this manage this true and false value okay and yes or no value basically so this fall domain and update domain are based on your subscription or your region mostly so you have to make sure that you are going to provide the right value and i think if you don't provide this value then it will pick up the default one so let's try to create this av set using powershell and we are going to use this particular command let new iphone az availability sets and this is the parameters are available so it's required resource group name and location and this is the mandatory parameter so once you provide this parameter it will go ahead and create the av set and if you want to provide uh, the hard code value for the update domain and fall domain then you can also provide that so it's required integer value for platform uh, fall domain and update domain okay so let me go ahead and create av set but before that let me create one more file and i will call, I will call that as av set dot ps1 and here i'm going to write that command new hyphen az availability set and after that i will provide name of the av set and that should be in string so i'm just going to use powershell av set and then test okay and then i'm going to use a resource group name so let me quickly check my resource group name and this is the resource group name that i'm going to use powershell rg so i will provide that in double quote and then i'm going to use location and east us that is the same location i'm using for the resource group so you can see that our resource group is also created in east us and let me save this file and let me go ahead and run this file and you can see that availability set is created successfully and i think it took the default value for fault and update domain and this is our detail of av set and let me go back to the portal in this resource group let me refresh this one and here you here you can see that ps av set this is successfully created now let's take an example that you want to recreate you, you have given this wrong value and you want to uh, or, or let's take an example that you are going you want to create the new av set you want to delete this one and you want to create the new one with the uh, different fall domain and update domain value okay so you already have created this one so what we can do is let me comment out this particular line and below this i'm going to call i'm going to create the av set then we'll uh, call this particular get hyphen command to capture the av set so i'm just creating a variable called av set detail and then i'm going to use get hyphen az availability set okay and this required only resource group name and your av set name so I'm going to provide the resource group name over here and then AV set name over here. And this is the name of the AV set that's going to be over here. And this is the name of the resource group. And I will use that over here. Okay. So once we capture this particular uh, availability set, we will get all the information in this particular variable. Okay. And then I will use this variable to create new availability set and here what i'm going to do you do is i will just use fault domain this is the uh, variable that i'm going to use 
and I will use fall domain count as two for example and then I'm going to create one more variable called update domain and I will use a value for this is let's let's keep it five for now and for fall domain I'm going to change it to two now after this once you have this uh, details in this particular variable then you need to use this variable in our new hyphen az available set command okay so let me create this command once again new hyphen az av set and i will use name and then i'm going to use resource group name then i'm going to use location then platform uh, update domain and then platform fall domain okay now let me go ahead and only run this particular uh, line so let me copy this and i will just use this console and i will show you how you can capture that particular detail and if i use this av set detail and enter it's actually capturing all the details and this is nothing but your headers resource group name id name type this everything so you need to you already have that information over here and you have already captured that information in av set detail then what we are going to use is uh, we will use that particular variable in our parameter so here i'm going to use this braces and inside that i'm going to use av set detail and then i will use dot and i need to provide name so i'm going to use dot name so i'm going to use this particular name so it will pick up this particular name from that variable okay it will pick up this all data from this variable because we are querying that particular av set and we are storing those data in variable and then we are using this variable in our new hyphen az av set commandlet so it will create the new av set for us in resource group i'm going to use same thing i will use av set detail then i'm going to use dot and then resource group name for location i will use the same thing av set detail and then dot location and for platform update domain count i'm going to use this variable okay not the av set detail and for platform fall domain count i'm going to use this variable fall domain so this command is ready okay now you have noticed that we are capturing that detail over here and we are trying to create the new one over here but we are not deleting it so if you don't delete it it this command will get failed because this particular av set is already there on azure so let's do one thing right now it's capturing that details on line number three so after that i'm going to use remove hyphen az availability set this command and then i'm going to use name of av set and this is going to be a name does it require anything else yes it requires resource group name then i will provide this resource group name. okay so this is what we are going to do so we have already created uh, this av set called ps av set so what we are going to do here is on line number three we will capture that av set details in av set details variable then on line number four we are going to delete that line number six and seven we have hard coded the fall domain and update domain values in numbers in integer and on line number nine we are going to recreate or we are going to create a new av set with the same detail the only changes is going to do is we are just changing this fall domain numbers so let me save this file and if i go to the portal you can see this av set is there and you can see the fall domain count is three and update domain count is five so let me go ahead and run this command av set dot ps1 press enter 
so it's asking ability to say remove operation this command remove the specific specified AV site do you want to continue so I'm just using yes okay so let me go back to the portal and refresh this one and if I click on this PS AV set test now you, you can see that over here it's created default domain count so it's actually deleted that particular AV set and then on line number 9 it's created the same available set with the same configuration only it changes the default domain count so this is how you can uh, recreate any resources usually you don't need to recreate any resources if you want to do some kind of minor changes or even in major changes changes there are commandlets available like update hyphen or set hyphen something like that in powershell but for some resources there are uh, they do not have any commands and you need to go with complete deletion and recreation part okay so this is how you can do i don't know even uh, in in av set if it's uh, update hyphen av az av set or set hyphen some commands are available or not if that is available you can go ahead and check that just verify that do the practice and uh, just try to uh, use that command with the different configuration and check that this is just for your understanding and this is just just for the uh, logical understanding how you can do the resource recreation using powershell so in case if you face some kind of uh, resource recreation script then how you can capture that particular resources in your variable then you remove that resources and then you will, you will create the new resources based on the requirement and this this example is for that okay so go ahead and do the practice and we'll see you in the next video